Hey all, how's it going? We're gonna talk about slope, okay? So, slope, or M, that's what we call it when we use just a symbol, this M down here. Um, the slope of a function Y of X, right? Like this is some Y of X. Um, is the change in Y divided by the change in X? or we can use deltas, like we learned in 131, and we can have delta y over delta x, that'll equal m. So for a linear function, like a line, slope is constant, and the line can be described by some y of x equals mx plus b. So if we find m and b, we can, char <clears throat> we can characterize any line. So to find out, um, to calculate slope, we have to choose two points on the line, some x1, y1, and some x2, y2, and we calculate the change in y divided by the change in x, that's delta y over delta x. Um, and if you want to do it in words, I think about it like rise over run. So we find how much the function rises, and we divide it by how much it runs. So let's do that over here let's just figure it out with these symbols Oof. all right so i have an x1 y1 that's this point here and i have um an x2 y2 and that's this one here i gave us a lot of points all the way up to x6 y6 just because i want to show something um, I kind of want to prove this point about slope being constant. So, if we want to get the rise over the run, well, that's the difference between y2 and y1, so that'll be this little line right here, delta y. I'm going to do this a few times, so I'm going to call this delta y sub a, just so my next delta y doesn't get confused with it. Anyway, working with these two, we have a delta y a, and now this will be our delta x a. So if we want to know the slope, we can have m will be equal to delta y a over delta x a. And that is, of course, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's awesome. We can use these two points. The thing is, though, we can use any of these points, any set of two of them. We could use this point and this point. And we could get some delta y. We'll call it b now, and it's some delta x, b. But because our slope is constant throughout the whole line, then that'll equal the same m that we found with delta y a and delta x a. So it's gonna be equal to delta y b over delta x b. Or of course, let's put let's do it down here, y six minus y four over x six minus x four. Okay? That'll equal m and it's the same m that's right here. We can choose any two points. So that's neat. Um, that's how we'd find slope. If we'd like to describe things in this y of x equals mx plus b, we have one more thing to find, and that's b. Now b is the y-intercept. So b is the spot where um, our line crosses the y-axis. That makes sense because looking at this one, let's write it up here, y equals mx plus b. When x is 0, this is going to go away. So we'll have y equals b. And doesn't that make sense that the y-intercept is b? Because when x equals 0, mx isn't in our formula anymore. and We'll have y equals b, y equals the intercept. So if we'd like to characterize this line, we can have y of x will equal m. Now what's m? It's right here. It's also right here. 
but I'm only going to put 1 into the equation because I only have 1m. I'll use this first one. Alright, so if y equals mx plus b, there's m times x, and now plus b. And we can see on the graph that b is going to be y1. Awesome. So, there we go. We just used slope to find the formula of this line. Um, and it's pretty neat. But, what we'd like to know, um, something that we'd like to figure out here is that we don't exactly know the units of slope, and we'd like to figure it out. Um, this here is a little ambiguous y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's just try to solve a real, <clears throat> a real problem that has units in it, and we can figure out what units the slope has. So let's come over to here. I've made a cute little word problem. We have that a runner runs for different amounts of time. They record how far they run over the different time intervals. They then fit a line to this data and they find the slope. And what exactly do they find? So let's look at the graph first, make sure we get it. We have a scatter plot and all these dots are different data points for different time intervals. So our first one all the way on the left is when the runner runs for 10 seconds, they find um, they run this distance. When they run 20 seconds, they find they run this distance, 30, you go for this, and so on. So they get they have all this, they have this scatter plot, and what we love to do with scatter plots is fit linear lines to them. So that's exactly what they've done. They've got this straight linear line. be sure of it um, and it's best fit through their data and now I drew this myself I drew the dots and I drew the line um, and I need you to believe with me that right here that our y-intercept is zero I know it looks a little bit over to the side but when they run for zero seconds they don't move any meters so our y-intercept is going to be zero Okay, so they fit this line and they find the slope. And that's pretty easy. I can find the slope quick um, for this. We just have to find two points. We kn so we know um, each tick of a square in this way. If we look at the x-axis, we can see that that is five seconds. And now one tick vertically on the y-axis, we can see that's 10 meters. So we just want to find two points on this line of best fit that line up well with our grid points so that we can be sure that we're using um, the right values there. So one point that jumps out to me is this one here. Let's make them, I'll do them in a different color. So, this one crosses pretty clearly, and now let's look for another one, but right here. Awesome. So, let's find the slope with rise over run. So, our rise is three boxes. If one box is 10 meters, that's 30 meters. So we have delta y equals 30. Now, delta x, we know that one tick is five seconds. How many do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five times five, that's 25 seconds. Awesome. So now we can get the slope of this line 30 over 25, or 6 over 5, or 1 and 1 fifth. Okay, so that's 1.2. But it's 1.2 what? That's the point of this. We'd like to know 
what units slope has. Um, we know that our intercept is zero, so we can put the whole formula together, and we can get y of x equals m 1.2 x plus b, but our b is zero. So, what exactly is slope here? Um, our x. Let's change. Let's have y of x be distance and let's have x be time so we can have distance equals 1.2 times time now we're getting somewhere um this is distance and time okay so uh we want to know 1.2 so let's have d over t equals 1.2 so distance for time equals 1.2. Thinking back to um, physics 131, distance per time is velocity. And what are the units? Well, they give it to us here. Um, it's going to be in meters per second. That makes sense. So the slope on this graph is the speed is the velocity. So because this is a best fit line, this looks like an average velocity in meters per second. Um, so the takeaway here, let's switch back to a black pen. Um, the takeaway here is that the units of m, or slope, are the units of y divided by the units of x. So here, our y-axis is distance and our x-axis is time. So our slope has units distance per time. Um, if we go back to our summary of slopes, we can look here and see that m equals delta y over delta x. Well. A change in y still has the units of y, and a change in x still has the units of x. So even from all the way back here, we could have maybe observed that the units here are the units of y divided by the units of x, just as we found in the end. So that's a brief summary of slope um, with a note on what the units of slope are. That'll conclude this video.